I had a complaint from a, a guy in Scotland. He was complaining about the way he was being understood, and he, he sort of said something like, uh, I'm not being racist or anything, but uh, I can't understand them, and uh, they can't understand me. And uh, I just sort of had a, a little smile and empathised with him a little, and, and that's just typical of the sort of call you can get. I just couldn't believe what she came on about. It was a tights kept falling down. There's nothing I can do about it, but she just wouldn't let me give up. I just kept saying, I'm sorry, but you threw to the ombudsman. And she said, yeah, I know, but these tights just keep falling down. And I, and I just want to complain about them. Anyway, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it might have been, she was still on about these tights coming down. I had a case involving a mobile phone contract, and I suppose to complain about it. When he got the phone home, he found he was unable to make calls, had lots of problems. I spoke to the company, he was taking a really hard line on it. After a little bit of discussion, the company did accept that he may have been misadvised at the time of sale and said, OK, if he returns the phone to us, then we'll cancel the contract. I took a call from a man with a complaint about his phone company. Something had happened and he was really going mad. We ended up laughing though, because when we got to the bit when I asked him what had resolved the problem for him, he told me he wanted nothing less than the chief exec of the phone company to go to his house and to cut his lawn. I thought this was a fab idea, but it's not really something we could offer. We'd love to handle your complaints about anything and everything. Until we can, we're here to resolve complaints about communications, energy, property and copyright licensing. Everyone at Ombudsman Services wishes you a very happy Christmas.